Hey everybody, it's Dizzy, and this is another episode of the Pixie Styling Series. I'm going to be showing you guys today how to do a hairstyle that is super easy on either a pixie that's growing out or a pixie that has some longer layers through the top. And um, it's also uh, really nice if you have like second or third day hair just to kind of stretch it that one more day to um, kind of attack the elephant in the room, or at least address it, um, the elephant on my head, I did, after a year of pink and purple, decide to dye my hair red. And I think I really like it. It's coming off a little bit more vibrant and orangey red in this light, but actually it's more like a um, sort of red velvet cake red um, in person. So anyway, getting on to what we're actually talking about, and I'm going to do a video talking about how I got this color, um, so you should subscribe because then you won't miss it. Alright, so but today's tutorial is really fast. So I'm going to be using the One Love Organics Healthy Locks Dry Shampoo Powder. I'm, I got this in a Petty Var box. I'm just going to get some in my hand. It looks like baby powder. I've never used this before, so hopefully it's good. Um, it's making a huge mess. So I'm just gonna rub that. Oh my God, it's gotten all over my face. Okay. I'm gonna just rub that into my hair. Just to zhuzh it up a little. Now, there's a lot of variations with this style. If you're like me and you've got some shorter bangs in the front, you can kind of section it off and leave those out. If your hair is all longer layers, you can um, put all your hair into it. So I'm gonna take a tail comb and just divide the hair kind of down the middle. Like I said, I want to leave out some bangs, so I'm just going to take the section from that part and I'm going to start braiding my hair. Kind of like the world's messiest French braid. So I'm just taking sections from either side, just making sure I leave enough so that those bangs look good. and just keep working down the hair till I get to kind of where my sides are, like right there. Now I'm gonna push up and then pull. Really loosening up that braid a whole bunch. So it's got some texture to it. And actually that pulled it out a little too much. When your hair is short, you can't pull out the braid as much. So I'm just gonna put it back in and go a little easier on it. And braiding really short hair can take a little bit of practice. Remember, this look is supposed to be messy. It's not about being perfect. So yeah, we got the braid in. I'm gonna pull up again, just so it has some texture to it, but not so we pull it all the way out. Yeah, and then I'm just gonna take a bobby pen. I'm taking one of my little mini ones and put that in to hold the braid in place. I'm going to use two. Okay. Then I'm going to do the same on the other side of the part. Like I said, it's not even a tutorial. It's more like just an idea. You'd be surprised how short your hair can be and still be braided. And braids are still kind of on trend. So why should you have to sit out the braid trend just because you have cute short hair, right? I don't think you should. 
Okay, so there we go. We paraded it to about the same place. And do our little pull up y, squishy thing. And then get out a couple more bobby pins. I like these really small ones because they like do not show. They are really subtle. My small ones are from Goody, so they're just the Goody mini bobby pens. I've showed them before. That's them again. I'm just kind of locking them in. Okay. Then for the rest of the hair, I'm just going to take some of my L'Oreal Text It Tussle Wave Spray. And kind of spray that through the hair. And then just like really judge it up, scrunch it, tease it with your hands. Like I said, this style is all about messiness and texture. I go ahead and kind of get the bangs a little separate. And then I just tuck the rest of the hair that's in the front on the sides behind my ears. And this style is all about messiness. It's almost got like a grungy kind of 90s feel to it. If you want, you can take it and back comb a little bit through the crown just to give it even more texture. And just, yeah, I back comb in a few places. I'm going to see how terrible the back looks because yeah, sometimes my hair looks bad in the back and I don't know. But yeah, okay, so here is the front. Here's the side. The back, see it's just messy and crazy. This is the other side. And then there's, yeah, the whole thing. So that is it. That is this entire look. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. This is a little bit out of my comfort zone of what I usually do, so it was kind of fun for me. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.